feed trucks. So we're running five feed trucks a day, four or five, depending on how many guys are here. But um, and we're, we'll start feeding at five in the morning and usually finish up by three in the afternoon. Um, we're you know feeding a little bit later these days because we have more calves in, so we're feeding more hay ration, which takes longer to batch through the mill and longer to feed. Um, and then we, like I said, we've also got um, more cattle in the past couple of weeks, so that takes a little bit longer. But for the most part, um, uh, it's about a um, 10 hour feeding day. Global 
major differences. Um, there's a huge premium associated with it, not only for us, but for the producer um, as well. And so, like I said, it's something that we you know, bought some more cattle in the past year and um, seen a huge demand for this type of program. The other program that we do here at the yard is um, a natural program. We have about 25,000 head of natural cattle on feed here. Um, and everything in our natural program is out to the west. So we'll drive, drive through those here in a little bit. Um, but that natural program is what they market as never ever. So the cattle have never been um, given any hormones, no beta agonist. Um, they, their feed is, you know, veg they call it vegetarian feed. So our commodity cattle will get a beef tallow in their feed. Our natural cattle can't get that beef tallow. Um, as well as no antibiotics. So if we get a sick animal in our natural group, um, you know, humanely, we want to treat that animal with antibiotics. But when, once we do, um, it has to be relauded as commodity and fall out of that natural program. Definitely be able to tell they'll be stressed out and um, you know, the goal of the 
stockade yard is to get these animals to gain weight efficiently. And so if we are stressing out, freaking out, then we're burning calories and Each yard, you know, as a, as a yard total, we have goals in average daily gain and dry matter conversion. But each department um, will have goals that they're working on every day. So, for example, our feed department, our feed truck drivers, their goal would be, um, you know, they would have two main goals. The first would be that, you know, to be able to consistently feed pens about the same time each day. You know, what they want, like a 15 pound or 15 minute variance um, in time that we're getting. Their goal would be to meet that call weight. So, you know, that, that person who's calling to feed and making adjustments to feed each day, we want those feed truck drivers to hit that total weight at the end of the day um, within about 50 pounds. So that would be less than a 30 pound variance per day. Yep, so the red feed tubs would, um, are in pans of new cattle, and so it's just a